Welcome to our lecture online. Now here we have to be very careful when we're dealing with the absolute value sign. What if we have a letter representation of a number? Let's say a is equal to negative 3 and we're asked to find the absolute value of a and we're asked to find the absolute value of negative a. This is where a lot of students make mistakes. So don't do this. Don't say, well, the absolute value of a is simply a because that's not true or the absolute value of negative a is simply a that is not correct either. Both of those statements are not correct. What should we do instead? Well, the first thing we should do is replace a by what a is equal to. So that means that this is the same as, let me get my other color here, is the same as the absolute value of negative 3. Now we know what to do with this. The, the absolute value of negative 3 is equal to 3. Now, if we then want to re-represent re that in terms of a, notice if a is equal to negative 3 and we multiply both sides by negative 1, then negative a is equal to a positive 3. So, if a positive 3 is equal to negative a, then this is equal to negative a. So you can see that the absolute value of a is actually negative a. What about if it's the absolute value of negative a? Does that mean that the result is a positive a? Well, let's find out. First of all, we need to replace a by what a is equal to. So this is equal to the absolute value of the negative of a negative 3. Because all we did here is replace a by what a is equal to. Now, a negative times a negative gives us a positive. So this is equal to the absolute value of a positive 3. And the absolute value of a positive 3, well, indeed, that is equal to 3. But then, when we want to replace that by a, notice that a is equal to negative 3, therefore 3 is equal to negative a. So that means that this is also equal to a negative a. So the result is that the absolute value of a is equal to negative a, and the absolute value of negative a is equal to negative a, if a is a negative number. And that's why you have to be very careful when you deal with negative values, and you'll see later when we do additional exercises in algebra, in the algebra series that are coming up, we're going to work with more negative signs and negative symbols and negative notation, negative or absolute value notation. And we have to be very careful how we apply it under certain circumstances. And that's how it's done.